Hey guys, I want to show you a real quick mod that I did to uh, my Atom Stack S20 Pro to increase the range of the Wi Fi. So I've got my uh, laser burner out in the garage, and the computer that I work on is in my office. And the way I normally operate this laser burner is I do all my work on the uh, computer, I uh, turn the Atom Stack on, I send the files to the uh, laser. And then I come out here and I pull the, uh, I use the pad here to pull the uh, project up and I start the, uh, the burn process. And I just want to show you what I did along with all the parts required to put your antenna back here in the back with a better antenna. Nice clean installation, no exposed wires, and I'm going to show you the difference between the uh, factory little tiny antenna that's back here on the back and this right here so as you guys know the Wi-Fi antenna is right there and well, while we're here let me show you what I did I took it I bought a cable and now I've got the S20 Pro which is the silver uh, atom stack and I just used some aluminum tape and I taped the cable right along the edge here and then I drilled a hole in that bracket put the bulkhead connector through tightened it up and then I've got the stud sticking out to where I can attach a uh, your common Wi-Fi antenna this is a, a 8 dB antenna and I'm going to show you the difference that this one makes versus the uh, old one along with all the parts. Let me show you the parts right now. This is what I ended up buying. This is a connector kit that's got 90 degree. It's got conversions from male to female. It's got every connector you're going to need to get this to work. Uh, I bought a two pack of the actual cable. I think they're uh, about two feet. I actually measured how much cable I was going to need and I found uh, the perfect length as you can see uh, it, it tapes along the the unit real nice and there's no excess and it's it's the perfect uh, length and this is the antenna that I bought now this is this was a two pack so I've got one that's actually on the unit right now and then I've got the one that I've still got here in the pack and it's a uh, yeah, 8 dB. There's the part number if you can read it. I'll uh, I'll put a link in the description of everything that I ended up using. But let me go ahead and get this thing plugged in, and I'm going to show you the before and after. So right now I've got the the factory antenna plugged in. I'm going to turn the unit on. Now let's go in the house. Let me clean up my desktop since you don't have to. And the way I connect my laser, I don't do it there. Okay, we see the laser. Right there, we got one bar showing. Hopefully, you can see that. So let's go ahead and connect to it. And this is one of the reasons why I looked for a uh, stronger antenna solution because sometimes it just takes a while for it to finally connect up. And transferring files sometimes was slow, sometimes it was better depending on you know how good the connection was. 
Okay, so I'm going to click properties. Now it's come down here. So if you look right here, this link speed tells you your connection speed, what it was able to connect up at. And it's connected at 90, 90, 90 uh, megabit per second received, 90 transmit. Which works, you know, but uh, I want it better. So, let's go back out to the garage. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to unscrew. Factory antenna. And screw this one in. And again, you can see how it runs up, then how it transitions right there in the corner to run down this outside leg right here so it's out of the way you know the the laser you know doesn't interfere with it and it doesn't interfere with the laser and then I just drilled I ended up drilling a quarter inch hole it's actually a metric size the quarter inch was close enough and uh, got all secure so just to give you an idea of the antenna difference here. Let's see if I can move this out a little bit. So, and this one does fold. Okay, so let's turn this on. Go back in the house. Oh, and I'll show you the next mod that I'm working on. If you're having uh, cable management issues, that's about to be solved. Because I'm getting ready to uh, get our cable management issues over with. Okay, so now you can see that the engraver's got another bar so it's a full two bars let's go ahead and connect up okay you can tell that it connected a lot quicker let's click our properties come over here now we got 135, 135. So we got 135 tra receive, 135 transmit. So a lot stronger connection. Makes for faster file transfers. And uh, just faster usage of the uh, laser itself. So let me show you the way I operate here. Let me, uh, let's go ahead and turn our icons back on. I have a shortcut right here to my Atom Stack laser. Once I'm connected down here to the engraver, when I double click the uh, icon there, it connects up to the laser. And so then you just click over here on SD file and then you can uh, upload, you know, navigate over to where your file's at, upload it to the laser. And then uh, you can actually go to control and you can home it, position it, turn the laser on and off. Um, and you can actually type in manual commands and send them to the laser. Control the speed, the distance. Uh, of course, you've got all your controls right there. But whenever you've got your file loaded up, you can click the play button right here and it'll start, uh, start burning. I normally don't do it like that. Once I send it to the laser I go out there and 
uh, use the uh, control pad to uh, get it all going. But anyway, the subject of this uh, uh, video was to show you an easy and cheap way to connect up to your engraver and get a nice good solid connection. Anyway, I'm out. You guys take care. We'll see you.